What up, it's 2077, so you know what it is, get it started, y'all. Now, as you can tell by the title, is Modern Warfare the best COD ever? Now, I will be the first to say, it's not the most fun COD. However, is it the best COD? Is it the most, it's definitely the most realistic. It's definitely the best customization-wise of the guns. The sound is off at times, but as far as the sound of the guns from real life, being able to hear everybody, granted, you can hear on, you know, other cars, you know, dead silence, you know, it's kind of uh, a reason why you're able to hear most people because most people ran dead silence or ninja or something like that uh, to that extent in the other Call of Duties where it was a perk, but in here it's a field upgrade, but Y'all, honestly, is Call of Duty Modern Warfare the best COD? Honestly, y'all, I'm going to have to say yes. Um, I know I say yes because, like I said, y'all, it's, it's not the most fun. i put it like that. It's not the most fun. I honestly prefer Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3. Okay? when I My first COD that I played was Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. That was the first COD I ever played. Okay. Then after that, um, I played Black Ops 1. Then I played Black Ops 2. Then I played MW3. Then I went back and played MW2. Okay. Now I probably I missed the hype of MW2, but when I got on there, I dealt with the same things because a lot of people were still active on that game. Okay. Now, the thing about those games, they were more fun. They had the, a bit of realism to it, but it was more arcadey, fast-paced shooter, if anything. This is a bit, the speed is kind of slowed down a little bit. It's a bit more realistic. You can tell they, the care was put into reload animations, um, the sliding, you know, jumping. You can't consistently just jump, but you can forever cancel slide and all of that shit. You know, fatigue isn't really a full-time thing in this game. It happens, but it's not to the extent of a full realistic, like, stamina bar or things like that. But, honestly, y'all, here's why I say Call of Duty is the greatest COD ever, Okay. Like I said, weapon customization. We have never had a weapon customization as depth as this. We we never have. Okay? From changing out the multiple scopes on any gun, every gun has at least at least eight scopes. Every gun you could uniquely change. You could put all of them practically the same unless you get something that's unique to that uh to that gun itself. Okay? Uh, I, but as far as customization, like I said, just scopes, just things that you can equip on the guns, the, the variety is almost endless. Then not to mention with the blueprints, I don't necessarily like the purchasing of the blueprints, but the blueprints kind of add something else to it, you know. You don't necessarily have to come up with it on, uh, on your own with some good blueprints of these guns, okay. Um... Customization blows any card out the window. Personally, um, graphics, it's the best looking COD. We've had Call of Duty Cold War, Black Ops 4, um, what else was it? I mean, they, they imported Ghost. I mean, I know not to bring up Ghost, but I'm just saying they imported Ghost on the PS4. Um, that's it. If I'm not mistaken, was Black Ops 3? Yeah, Black Ops 3 was on. Uh, Call of Duty, uh, not Call of Duty, on PlayStation 4. This is hands down the best looking Call of Duty. You got, okay, so that's graphics, that's customization. I mean, unless y'all want to put another game in there, I don't know another COD that looks as good as Modern Warfare. All right. Okay, so we got graphics, we got that. Now let's talk about gameplay. Okay. Gameplay, it's a bit more, it is a bit more realistic. You know, and the other CODs, you know, you it, it's it's a bit more arcadey. However, that's why it was more fun. That's why people were enjoying it more. They're going to a bit more realistic with these CODs or, or the newer CODs, at least with Modern Warfare. And honestly, I like the realism. I like how good it is as far as, okay, sound, sound quality is good, but how 
often the sound like to where you could tell that somebody's upstairs or if you tell somebody to the left to the right of you sometimes you can't hear anything it happens um but aside from you not being able to hear anything the, the sound of these guns i mean they sound great Reload animations depending on how many bullets you got left in the clip is how many uh, they'll actually reload if they'll take out the full clip or if they'll cock it out and then <laughs> pause on that but cock the gun back and the bullet will fly out that's in the chamber and it'll load up another one like all of that is more detail in the new COD or the Modern Warfare. Honestly, like I said, y'all, I it I think this is the best. Now let's talk about what is specifically in these games. Now this is where I would give the other CODs. The edge here okay call of duty modern warfare is lacking in certain departments um they were they constantly remove game modes for whatever reason i don't know why they remove um cranked cranked honestly to me is one of the best game modes in this game multiplayer wise okay i ain't talking about Warzone. i'm not talking about rebirth or any of that i'm talking about multiplayer it's one of the best simply because this game is a camp fest. Guys will camp, not play the objective. They're trying to rank up their guns, things like that. In the old COD, you had people getting the objective. Don't get me wrong. You had those that were sitting back, but there's more people getting the objective than there were guys sitting back. On this, you got guys sitting back in safe spaces and shit. The game is not perfect, y'all. It's not by any means. Is it the most fun? No. Do you have to deal with more bull in this game? Yes, but the other games have bull too. Like noob tubing, tubing and um MW2. MW3 was a bit more balanced out, but it was just pretty much another rehash of the uh, MW2. Black Ops 2 was pretty balanced, but it, when you got to the the pick 10 system in Black Ops 2 was great. However, you could get some ridiculously overpowered guns, but however you had to rank up those guns. Prime example, Black Ops 2 there was a gun that was a uh, semi-automatic. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, it, it was a single fire uh, type gun, okay? If you shoot one bullet based upon your trigger finger, how fast you can shoot it, okay? They had a, um, a thing in your pick 10 system where you can select the fire of the gun. So now I, my idea was, okay, I know I can get that with this gun. I got to rank it up. I want to see the damage it does when it's on automatic. That was damn near one of the last things you had to unlock on the gun. But when I finally unlocked it, y'all, the gun was a fucking beast. The damage on it because it's a single fire weapon was astounding. Then once you finally unlocked it, you put the select fire on, turn it on automatic, the gun was barely beaten. But that allows for, you know, variety when it comes to these games, these weapons and things like that. I would say Black Ops 2 will be right behind Modern Warfare when it comes to customization of the guns. Because the variety of somebody having the same type of gun in Black Ops 2 versus on here is less likely. Okay, now everybody's going for the metal weapons on here. There were great metal weapons on MW3, like the, um, if I'm not, what was it called, the ACR, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the ACR 5.6, 3.6, something like that. That gun on MW3, that gun was ridiculous. Damn near no recoil, good damage, good rate of fire. I mean, shit, it, it was a good gun, well balanced. Uh, that was the first gun I ever went gold on. The Type 25 on Black Ops 2 was the, the first gun I ever got gold. Know what I'm saying? It, it was variety when it came to these guns and things like that. Um, but I, I'm, I'm putting in perspective of really it's honestly to me between Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare, this new Modern Warfare. Um, and all honesty, uh, I, I would give it to Black Ops 2 when it comes to weapon customization simply because I ah, just thinking back on it, y'all, that pick 10 system allowed for a lot of variety. You know, you were limited, but then again, you were able to put damn near whatever on the guns. If you had the idea or the imagination, you could do that. Even on here, yes, but these stats really, really matter. You know, for SMG, you don't want your moving speed to be down. You don't want your aim down sight speed to be down. You know what I'm saying? But on Black Ops 2, if you had a sub, you had a sub. 
you know, how it affected the damage and how you found somebody because they had the target finder, things like that. You know, I'm just saying you have variety. You got variety in this as well. But but definitely, I would say uh, besides that, uh, game modes, of course, Black Ops had zombies. Modern Warfare, this, uh, the Spec Ops, y'all, the shit was very disappointing. Spec Ops, um, that whole category, just, they didn't do a good job of that at all on here. I have to give it to Black Ops 2 when it comes to the zombies and extra stuff that you could do on the game mode. Story mode. Story mode was great on here, but story mode was great on there as well. It, story mode on Black Ops 2 was so in-depth. You had, if I'm not mistaken, two different endings. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong on that. But, um, I'm running out of time here, guys. I just wanted to include my thoughts on this, but in all honesty... Besides those last two points, Modern Warfare is probably the best COD. Y'all let me know what y'all thoughts are in the uh, comment section, all right? Let me know which ones you guys you thought were the best, and let me know why and what system you played it on. Until next time, man, it's been 277, man. I'm out. Peace.